Hi. Anybody home? Hi, Kendall. Come on in. I'm glad you came. We saw the room, and I've got a fabric sample to show you. And I have some antique flower baskets that Mary Jo found that I want to show you. What's the matter? Nothing. You just surprised me, taking my hand. You mean because... Yeah. In the hospital, even some of the nurses refused to come in my room. I'm a Jean. Why don't you take that book over the counter, hon? I'll be over in just a second to write up the order. I can't believe that. I mean, if hospital people are going to act that way, how can they expect the public to behave any better? What I want to know is how do you guys get so smart? Well, we read. Oh, and I went to see Julia's and my family doctor, and he told me that you can't get AIDS from touching anybody. You can only get it from uh, sex, blood products, and shared needles. I mean, it just stands to reason that if AIDS was airborne, that somebody would have gotten it that way by now. I'll tell you something that makes me mad about the whole thing. You about to get fired up? Just a little. <laughs> I was reading in yesterday's papers about all these Hollywood producers who are now going to depict people not sleeping around because of AIDS. What I want to know is, what was wrong with not sleeping around before AIDS? I mean... God forbid that anybody would be sexually discriminating because it's virtuous or loyal or classy. No. Now it's as if they found a whole new reason for people to have morals again. Is that the boy whose funeral you're planning? Where'd you hear that? Well, I just heard the rumors, but I didn't actually believe it was true. Now, I don't like to hurt anyone's feelings, but if these boys hadn't been doing what they do, they wouldn't be getting what's coming to them now. I'm a Jane. Gays aren't the only ones getting it. No, but they're the ones who started it. Actually, nobody knows how it got started. Gays are just one of the first groups it showed up in. Yes, and for a good reason. You reap what you sow, and you boys brought this on yourselves. As far as I'm concerned, this disease has one thing going for it. It's killing all the right people. I'm a Jean. I'm terribly sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to move your car. Why? Because you're leaving. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the only thing worse than all these people who never had any morals before AIDS are all you holier-than-thou types who think you're exempt from getting it. Well, for your information, I am exempt. I haven't lived like these people, and I don't care what you say, Julia Sugarbaker. I believe this is God's punishment for what they've done. Oh, yeah? Then how come lesbians get it less? That is not for me to say. I just know that these people are getting what they deserve. I'm a gene. Get serious. Who do you think you're talking to? I've known you for 27 years, and all I can say is, if God was giving out sexually transmitted diseases to people as a punishment for sinning, then you would be at the free clinic all the time. <laughs> and so would the rest of us. I think she makes a good point. Oh, who cares what you think? You're not even all there. Well, as long as we're on the subject, neither are you. <laughs> well, you needn't look forward to any more of my business in this lifetime. Wonderful. I'll close out your account. And another thing, my son has an A in chemistry. In fact, he's making all A's in everything.